Hey everyone, uh, fire is going. It has been cold in Queenstown this week. We had snow, which was really exciting. Um, but what I wanted to share with you this week is all around mindset. Um, this is one of these topics that I think often it's hard to talk about and hard in the sense that I find it hard sometimes to get words out that explain what I'm thinking and feeling and doing and, and what mindset is. Um, and the, the power that it can have. I mean, we would all have a, um, a, a conversation around, you know, positive belief or a positive mindset is really important. Um, but I, I actually think that mindset is one of these core, like, ninja hacks that help us to get better in transformation. Um, I was on a phone call this week with the California Institute of Integrative Studies who are the most awesome bunch of humans I've met in such a long time. And we were talking all about change. So change coming from a philosophical, from a psychological, from a transformative leadership perspective, um, and, and, and all of the intricacies that go with change and what it is and what it brings up. And, and we talked a lot about mindset. And one of the, the this takeaway standout quote, which I just thought was brilliant, um, and it, it just it really resonated with me. But the, the takeaway quote from one of the participants was about this idea of what we're seeking to do is to change something inside of ourselves, to change those things on the inside of ourselves so that we can make change in the outside of ourselves. And I think that for me, that, that kind of summed up mindset, right? It's about what can I change on the inside that's going to mean that I can change what's on the outside? How do I get my head and my body and my being around these ideas so that I can show up fully, I can participate, I can influence, I can drive change, I can, I can have that impact on the external world? Well, actually, a lot of that is about what's going on in my internal world and my internal landscape. Um, and it, it really struck me as just a really succinct way to say a lot of the stuff that I feel like I try to preach through the retreats and the interactive experiences that we do. So that was super cool. It was like, what can we change on the inside of ourselves that then means that we're able to make change on the outside of ourselves? Because if it's on the inside and we've got that control over it, then all of a sudden we have a whole bunch of options for change, right? It's no longer about that blocker that's out there in the external world that's stopping me from getting to where I need to be as a leader, as a change maker, as a program owner, whatever. It's about what can I change on the inside of myself that's going to change what's going on on the outside of myself. And I wanted to share a story which um, some of you would have heard from me before, but it was about a really, really important mindset shift that I was privileged enough to to go through a number of years ago now, um, and it happened during the space of a week long immersion uh, into a method of thinking about business and work and change and improvement. Um, so you would have heard me mention the Vanguard method before and Vanguard Consulting, who are another awesome bunch of human beings um, who I love dearly. So I spent, I had the privilege, the incredible privilege of spending a week with them and, um, and I will never forget one of the most simple exercises. It was actually the first exercise that we did um, in that week long process. So I, I couldn't even begin to explain to you what happened during that week and how much uh, that week asked of me um, as a learner, as an individual, how exhausted I was at the end of the week. But we started the week off as a bright-eyed group of people um, and we were sat down and the first exercise that we were asked to do was to answer a series of questions and these questions were things like um, what is your definition of a leader what makes a great leader what's your definition of a manager where do you see yourself in all of this and what do you need to work on to be a better manager leader you know, those type of questions and there are about five or six questions and we were given time to sort of scribble our answers on paper and then papers were collected up. And then we went through this mind-blowing experience over the week. <laughs> and we got back in a room on Friday and we were asked to present what we'd learned um, about the business, about the method. And it was one of those things where, it's, if you've ever been on, it's like conference week where it, like you're just constantly bombarded with new information. And so we get to Friday and it was, 
I remember presenting things back and thinking, I don't even know if this makes sense, but it's all I've got and I'm exhausted and I can't, I, like, I can't hide any of this anymore. This is, it's raw, it's what you've got. And so we did our presentations and then we got through all of that. I sort of breathed a sigh of relief and went, oh man, I'm going to sleep well this weekend. And they sat us back down and I remember Evie saying to us, okay, now we're going to go through and redo the answers to those questions that we asked you on day one. And so we sat down and here's me, the like total overachieving teacher's pet student, just like settles in, off we go. I'm going to write these answers. It's going to be totally different to what I said on day one because I've learned so much over the last five days. Like it's been this incredible experience and I can't wait to get this all on paper and it's all going to come out and you're going to, oh, this is so good. So we sit down and they ask us the questions again and we write our answers. And then, oh, then they hand back our answers from day one. So they say, that's cool. We're going to give you back your answers from day one. And then what we'd like you to do is we're going to do a bit of a round table and we'll share your reflections on where you started and where you ended up. And I thought, oh, here we go. This is going to be totally different. This is going to be worlds apart. Like I can't even begin to describe how much has changed for me in the last five days. I will never be the same again. And they give me back my paper from day one and I look at these two sets of answers and I had written almost word for word the exact same answer on day one as on day five and I must have had this look of like horror and perplexed like total confusion on my face because our facilitators looked over and said anyone care to share at which point I said I I don't have words but I've written almost exactly the same thing on day one and day five, but what I cannot, what I don't have words about, what I can't communicate to you is that my understanding of the words on these pieces of paper is entirely different to when I wrote them on day one. And, and I don't know how to say that. I don't know how to put that into words because apparently the words that I choose are exactly the same as the words that I had. But my understanding is completely different. And I remember those knowing smiles and it's like, you know, those teachers that are like, yep, that's great. Now you think it was your idea. Um, and I, I just, I remember being so broken about the whole thing and, it, and I just couldn't get my head around it. And now I reflect back and I go, ah, mindset shift right so mindset shift for me is what are those things that changed on the inside of me that meant that I could show up and read those same words on 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 paper and yet have an entirely different experience of the meaning um, of what I would do as a result as how I, of how I was going to act as a human as a leader in this organization as a result of changing things on the inside of me so that, when I start talking about mindset shift, that's what I'm talking about. What are the things that we can change? What are the things that are changing on the insides of ourselves that mean that we can change things on the outside of ourselves? Um, so that's it from me this week. Quick story, bit of confusion. Um, I would love to hear from you. Please, please, please let me know. Hit me up with a comment. Like Make comments down below. Send me an email. Talk to me about those transformative mindset shift experiences. Like, what were they for you? Because when we share these stories, we can share these stories with others and it might help others to unlock their mindset about a particular thing that they've been struggling with. So please, hit me up, send me a comment, send me a like, send me a, a share email. Share your stories about the way that your mindset might have shift, either in a work context or maybe outside of a work context as well still totally valid um and yeah i hope wherever you are in the world today you're having an awesome awesome day and uh, i will see you again for another episode in a week